You're welcome. And do um, we give incentives? Are there ARB incentives for those or? <laughs> what? Did, no? Linda no. said no. Oh. Yeah, there, there are not currently incentives. I know, yeah, Cal Bike Coalition is working on that. And just to keep in mind, Europe's way ahead of us on this. UK just started offering incentives for cargo e-bikes to mm -hmm. carry goods or people. Every day is a freight day. Yeah. <laughs> right. And, and France is offering, France and Sweden started offering incentives recently and the market's just taken off. I, I thought we heard the incentives. L less greenhouse gas, less weight, and less uh, congestion. Well, yeah, but we want to, yeah. I, I'm, what more incentives do you need? I think we're going to fight over who Have gets to ride these. That's what you're using. No, no, no. <laughs> I asked if A or B had put money into it, so cap and trade dollars. So. Let's give them some cap and trade money. That that be fine with me. <laughs> Mr. Arp, I yield the floor to you. Did you have a question? That was it. Oh. Got it all out. Excuse me, just to draw your attention to is that the average distance of that typical trip is nine miles, which was a high number to me. So we're not talking about one to two mile trips. We're talking about serious transportation impact. Okay, well, we'll probably want to drill down with you and understand a little more of the information we're learning. So, yes, Chair Frazier. Just wanted to, to access them. yesterday, pursuant to our, our co-meeting, we talked about technology uh, taking forefront and, and investing it. This would be a great opportunity when we look at the investment that the Air Board does with the e-vehicles, e uh, you know, the incentive programs, I think up to like $35,000. This would be something that would be absolutely paramount to, to invest in as first and last mile is accomplished. And so you look at the differential that what it does is I think this is probably a good bill idea going out forward and, and making sure the technology is embraced and that alternate transportation is being embraced and going forward so you know look forward to working with you but i think that the air board this is a perfect opportunity for their incentive program yeah that's good okay uh commissioner Medaffer. just real briefly i just want to say this is outstanding i mean these are the kind of things just as chair fraser just said i use you know when jump came to san diego i use that thing all the time i like the e-bike it's easier to use, the app works, everything is so good about it, and you, you get around. And the one stat I remember hearing, I don't know the exact number, but it was something like with Uber, uh, something like 40 or 50% of all of their rides are like two miles or less in cars. So if those can be replaced with scooters and e-bikes, you're taking a two to 4,000 pound vehicle off the road, you're eliminating GHG, it's really a win-win for uh, that, and it improves active transportation. It's something that definitely the commission should be advocating. Okay. Alrighty, thank you very much. This is fascinating. We'll be out to take a look. So, okay, we're gonna to move to item 27.